Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I am going to be leading you through a yummy yoga stretch. So this is not gonna be a very long class, about 10 to 15 minutes, and we're really just gonna focus on the whole body getting really deep into some yummy stretches. Fun fact for today, this is actually my 100th class that I'm filming, yay! So uh, thank you for joining me for this monumental and milestone of a class. But that's enough talking, we can go ahead and get started. And we are actually gonna start lying down on your back for this one. So making your way all the way down. And we're just gonna start with a little twist towards the left. So you're gonna take your hips over to the right. And one of my favorite twists to do is to actually cross at the thighs. So you're gonna cross your right leg over your left and then just let your knees fall towards the left. Your arms can either be in a cactus shape or out in a T beside you. And then your eyes will just shift towards the right here. Breathing deep into your navel where that twist is coming from. Both of your shoulder blades are staying firmly planted into the floor. Breathing into your belly. So for this class, we're gonna start from the ground and kind of work our way up to standing. So almost like we're doing this class in reverse a little bit. And using a little bit of core strength, you're gonna bring your knees back up to center, uncross the legs, recenter the hips, and straight away we'll go to the other side. So you can actually bring your hips over to the left, crossing your left leg over your right, and then just going ahead and letting your knees fall to the side eyes this time will go towards the left continuing to breathe deep into your belly so for this hundredth class I've taken some of my very favorite poses and put them all together into the short little flow for you calling it our yummy yoga stretch so I really hope you enjoy and once again, powering up the core just a little bit to bring those knees back to center, uncross the legs. This time we will center the hips and just hugging your knees into your chest. Maybe lift your forehead up towards your knees, making a tight little ball. And we'll release back down. Opening up into happy baby. You can, if you can't grab your, your feet, you can continue to pull your knees in towards your armpits. Otherwise, your elbows will come inside your legs, hands to the outside of your feet, and then just gently guiding those hips down into the floor, those knees down into the floor, and rocking side to side, just like a happy baby. I would definitely define this stretch as a yummy one gets very deep into those hips, feels really, really nice to open up and create space. So just do what feels good here. If you wanna wiggle the feet around, if you wanna just stay static and feel that stretch through your inner thighs, you can do that. Whatever you need in today's practice, feel free to take each of these poses up for interpretation. And we'll release the legs. We're gonna roll ourselves up through the spine and open up the knees, coming to a butterfly fold. So the soles of your feet are together, knees are opening nice and wide. Feel those sit bones connected to the floor. We're gonna inhale to open up, grow tall, feel your heart open to the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna curve forward. You can grab onto your ankles here and just kind of guide yourself farther forward into this fold. Make sure your shoulders are melting down away from your ears so we're maintaining a nice long neck. Breathing into the belly, breathing into the lower back. Feel those hips opening. Maybe you're able to go a little bit deeper because we just came out of that happy baby. 
and we'll take an inhale to roll ourselves back up, staying where you are. This time we're gonna take another forward fold, but with straight legs. So let's point all the way through the feet. So we're finding extension through the tops of the ankles, extension through the tops of the legs. On an inhale, let's grow tall and add the arms up by the ears this time. And then we exhale, folding forwards, grabbing onto the outside of your feet, if that's accessible to you. And keeping those legs engaged, so we wanna stay really long through the legs. We have energy, keeping those toes pointed, reaching our forehead forward. And then from here, let's flex the feet, maybe if you can, grabbing onto the tops of the soles and then just lifting the heart and chest up and forward. Maybe your heels lift off the floor. So finding a really big stretch through the posterior chain of the body here. So from your heels all the way down the back of backs of your legs, maybe into your lower back, and then extending through the spine out the crown of your head. One of my favorite poses here. Let's take another exhale to release. Maybe you can fold a little bit more forward. And we'll roll all the way up. You're going to bend both of your knees. Right, sorry, your left leg is gonna come down onto the floor. Then your right leg is gonna cross over that knee. Just coming to a nice, easy seated twist. Inhale to grow tall, exhale, wrapping that left arm in any way that feels comfortable, finding a twist. Inhaling and exhaling here. Feel your belly expand across your thigh. Really important here that we remember to stay tall and that we don't slouch in this twist. So maintaining that long neck through the spine, long spine as well. And we'll take one more deep inhale here and exhale to unwind. Right away going to the other side. So bring your feet back underneath you. Right leg this time will bend and come to the floor. Left foot crosses over the thigh. We inhale to grow tall. Exhale, grab that leg in any way that feels comfortable to twist around behind you. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel that belly expand and contract. Sitting up tall. Feel that connection with your sit bones on the floor. That twist really coming from your navel. And from here, paying attention to our transition, we're gonna exhale to unwind, but keep traveling in that direction because you're going to bring your hands behind you, twist yourself up, finding a downward facing dog. Now facing the opposite side of your mat. And we're doing a yummy stretch today, so do whatever feels good. Bend and stretch the legs, maybe one at a time or together. You arch and contract through your back. Just do what your body needs here. And then let's take a moment to settle. So feeling that stillness intentionally here. And then we're gonna inhale, take it forward to plank and right away, let your hips lower, keeping your toes tucked, finding a little bit of an upward dog. Keep your shoulders pressing down away from your ears, energy through your legs. Now finding that stretch through the front body. We already did a nice big stretch through the back body. And we're gonna exhale, pull your belly in, take yourself back, downward facing dog. Once more like that. Inhale, take it forward, plank, and then let your hips release. Open your heart to the sky. Maybe rocking a little bit forward and back. Finding that nice stretch through the belly, maybe through your hip flexors and quads. And then exhale, push your belly in, finding downward facing dog. Now from here, we're gonna take the right foot, step it to the outside of your right hands, coming to a low lunge here. Let your hips sink to the floor, finding space. And you're welcome to stay here in this low lunge, or if you'd like, you're going to lift your right toes, open up, so we're now resting on the outside of that right foot. And your right hand will reach behind you to grab a hold of that left foot. Now instead of pulling your foot in towards your glutes here, we're going to change it up a bit and kick your foot into your hands so that we're opening up through the chest and finding a little bit more space in the upper body with this stretch. 
So you might even feel a bit of a stretch through your right arm if you have some tension here like I do today. And still allowing your hips to sink into the floor. So we've got a lot going on here. Hips are opening up, your left hip flexor is opening, and then your chest is opening up towards the sky in a nice back bend here. To come out of this, we'll bring your eyes forward. Gently release that foot so there's no slingshot, slingshot action. And then you're gonna recenter your right leg, tuck your back toes, and we're gonna step up into down dog once again. Take a moment to paddle out the feet. And just notice, after all of that work on the right leg, how the right leg feels different from the left. And we're gonna do that right away on the other side. So left foot forward on the outside of both of your hands. Taking a moment to settle into this lunge before we progress. Feel those hips lowering, your heart opening. And then if you'd like to intensify, we lift the left toes, open up onto the outside. Keep that right palm planted where it is, staying long through the neck. Take your left arm back, right leg bends and then finding that kick into the hand. So we're opening up through the chest here. This is probably one of my all time favorite yoga poses, partially because I just like the geometry of it, of how it looks with the legs and the arms together, but also just how it feels. We have stretches happening and length occurring in all different parts of the body. So really breathe into it. Feel that you're inhaling and exhaling with your entire body. Let's take one more. And with an exhale, we gently release that back foot. We square off our left, tuck the toes to take it back. Downward dog. And right away, let's walk the feet in. Take it slow. Feel those stretches through the backs of your legs. And just allow your spine to dangle. Let's sway side to side here. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows. And releasing the hands, let's take a nice deep bend, a deep plie through the legs. Exhale, push, stretch. Again, bend on an inhale. Exhale, push. Last time we'll bend, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna curve the spine, roll up from the belly button first and then vertebra by vertebra until your head and shoulders are the last to recover. We'll take it back to the center of your mat and I'm gonna mirror you here. So you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna cross it behind the left. So we're kind of making almost like this kickstand position and once again, we're on the outside of your right foot. And then on an inhale, reach your right arm up and grab onto it with the opposite hand. Inhale to grow. Exhale, we fold towards that kickstand. So we're finding a really nice deep stretch into the right side of our body. Remember, I'm mirroring you here. So you might feel this all the way into your ankle on the right side, all the way up through your right arm to your wrist, creating this lovely crescent moon shape with the body. And take one more inhale here. Exhale, take it back to center, releasing that leg. Give the arms a shake. Same thing, other side right away. Left leg crosses behind, finding that kickstand position. So we're on the outside of our left foot this time. Left arm reaches up, right arm grabs the wrist. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to bend, finding that crescent moon. Really make sure you're bending through that supporting leg too. For you, that's your right leg. That's creating your stability, your base here. As we come into this very exaggerated side stretch, try to breathe into it, create space. One more inhale here and exhale. We'll come back up, release the legs. Give your arms one final good shake. And we're just gonna finish off class today in mountain pose or Tadasana. So your feet are right underneath you. Arms can just hang by your sides, palms shine forward, 
maybe closing your eyes. And just take a final moment here to notice how your body feels after that practice in comparison to when you started and stepped onto the mat today. It's amazing how just a few minutes of yoga can really change how we feel in our bodies, even how we feel mentally and our attitude moving forward through the rest of the day. So I encourage you at any point throughout your day, you don't need a full hour or 90 minutes to complete a yoga class. Just 10 to 15 minutes is enough to really change how you feel. Let's take one more deep breath and bringing your hands together in front of your heart with gratitude, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this very yummy yoga stretch, including some of my all-time favorite poses. And also, huge thank you for joining me for my 100th class. If you've been with me since the beginning, thank you. That is incredible. And I really hope that you will continue to join me on the mat. And of course, before you go, as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. For my 100th class, I am doing a very special giveaway. You can comment below with your favorite SKR class that you've taken. Doesn't have to be this one, it can be any of the ones that are currently on my channel. Tag two friends and that will enter you into a draw to win a free pair of Zaya leggings. And the winner will be chosen on Monday, October 12th. So once again, thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you on the mat again very soon.